Gantley. My son, John Henry Gantley, has been held as a prisoner by the Islamic State since 2012. For the first time in almost two years, we saw John when he made a televised broadcast during which he told viewers that he was still a prisoner of the Islamic State and that maybe he will live, maybe he will die. Yes, yes, yep, okay. As a family, we experienced great relief seeing and hearing John knowing that he is alive. But this was followed by the feeling of despair and helplessness. He was seized in northern Syria, where he had been working as an independent photojournalist seeking out the true story of the suffering of the Syrian people and ensuring the world was made aware of their plight. John felt a strong need to help in the best way that he could as an impartial and respected journalist. He knew that he could make a difference by acting as a platform for the world to listen to and take notice. He only using his journalistic skills for the good of the people. As a friend, and as a civilian. I've had many messages saying they cannot conceive what we as family and all those who love him must be feeling. Speaking entirely for myself, this is not how I would have imagined I would be spending my 81st year. I want John to know how very proud I am of him. I can think of no greater joy than seeing him again. Released and allowed to return to those that love him. My family and I are trying to communicate with the Islamic State to deliver an important message regarding John and can only hope that it has been received as we have had no response to those holding John. Please know that he is a good man. He sought only to help the Syrian people. And I ask you, from all that is sacred, to help us and allow him to return them safely to those he loves and those who love him.